now I want to go and meet some other people who were influenced by punk rock in their youth to see whether it has continued to impact on their lives today. And my first port of call is to one of the seminal punks, one of the big figures from the early days of punk. She worked in Malcolm McLaren and Vivian Westwood's sex shop on the King's Road. The question is, is she still a punk rocker at heart? Hello. Hello. It's really nice to meet you. If 40 years ago yeah. someone had told me that I'd be coming to have a chat with you today, <laughs> I'd have been very surprised. If they told me I was coming to have a chat with you and you were a veterinary nurse, I'd yeah. have been astounded. <laughs> I'd have been astounded. How are you? I'm really good, thank you. Yeah, I've been a vet nurse for 26 years. <sighs> it's a long time. To think you'd end up into yeah. animals. I know. Oh, it was constant, actually, with me. There's a really great picture of me from 77 in the flat in London, and I've got a Burmese cat, and this cat's kissing my nose. <laughs> so even that far back, I always had a Burmese cat. Wow. Yeah. What about that? Yeah. Let's, let's go back then yeah. to that period. How did you make your way to the shop, Sex? I saw a tiny little cutting in a girly magazine, like Honey or 19. I said, well, that's the place for me. I mean, they must have taken one look at me and thought, well, no one looks like this. Well, Vivian certainly said, um, I'd never seen anything like you before. Never. Mm. So I was like the finished product, if you like. I had my own style of dressing, so I, I wasn't bound to wear the clothes that they sold there. You know, I had my own, my own special style, mm. mostly from second-hand shops. So it was really the beginning of DIY. You know, for me, I would buy something and rip it to pieces. Leotards, my old ballet wear I used to wear in the street as well. Mm. You know, your look was, from my tender young perspective, <laughs> Overtly sexual. Yes. If you look historically, the uh, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, you all had to have a body that fitted the clothes of the day. Um, and you look at the 70s, and you can see that all of that has disappeared. Punks broke down every single wall um, to do with how you should look. And what about all the swastikas? The way I wore it was to demystify the symbolism. Because the more that is mystical and hidden, the more powerful it is. Mm. Has punk stayed with you? When you get up on a daily basis, does it still inform you know, what you do, who you are? Very much so. It is a state of mind. It's something that um, I think will stay with me forever. It liberated so many people. All those people who felt um, displaced, maybe, from society, they found a place to belong and to express themselves.